PhD student in the Biomedical Informatics and Medical Education Department. And today I'll be talking to you about one of my rotation projects for this quarter, um, which is predicting drug target interactions using predicted protein 3D structure representations. And I'm doing this in the context of medulloblastoma, which is a pediatric brain tumor. And it's actually the most common malignant pediatric brain tumor. It makes up about 20% of all childhood brain tumor cases in general. And current routes of treatment include radiation, chemotherapy, surgery, and for developing children, this obviously leads to detrimental effects for their general development and growth. And survival rates are really varied depending on the type of medulloblastoma we're talking about. And in the middle figure, you can see that there are um, four different types of medulloblastoma with group three and four being the most common and the least characterized and have the highest um, mortality rates. Recently, there have been a lot of progress in identifying proteomic drivers, um, which is the focus of my project. Using known and newly discovered protein drivers of these subtypes, are we able to repurpose drugs from adult settings into these, into these pediatric settings? So this is a drug repurposing and drug target interaction problem. Um, so drug target interactions in general are used in precision oncology, as I was just talking about, and it's used for side effect pro profiling, drug repurposing, and drug discovery. <clears throat> Here I'm defining drug target interactions um, as the interaction and or affinities between a specific target or protein target, which is that gray molecule, and a specific drug, which is the green molecule. Um, and part of the most important parts of understanding these types of interaction is 3D structure of protein or how a protein folds. So current drug target interaction prediction methods include these different features from the drug side and the protein side. So chemical features, side effects from drug side or protein characteristics include protein function or protein-protein interactions. But as I mentioned before, protein 3D structure is really important in, for understanding the surfaces of proteins as well as, as, well as its function. Um, but currently that's not being used in prediction methods, specifically because this is a really challenging problem and only in the last two years has there actually been improvements in being able to predict protein structure. So I'll give a little bit of background on protein 3D structure and protein folding. There are different levels of protein folding or protein 3D structure. The first one is sequence. You can think of it as a string of letters that make up words, followed by localized levels of folding, and finally 3D folding patterns. And these 3D folding patterns can then interact with other proteins to create this final level of protein structure. So what I'm focusing on here is how can we take the first individual sequence of letters that make up these proteins and predict that 3D folding pattern. So UW um, at the Baker Lab, there is a postdoc who actually developed the second best prediction protein or the second best um, deep learning algorithm that can predict a protein's 3D structure. Um, so the input is that amino acid sequence or those letters and the output is the 3D protein structure as kind of described by this general diagram. That middle part represents um, a generic deep learning model. So the hypothesis for my project is, can we use these uh, hidden layers within this deep learning model um, that gives some information about a th protein's 3D structure in order to improve drug target interaction predictions? So in deep learning models, these hidden states, which is each of these individual columns, actually provide really useful representations of the input data. So the idea is that these learned representations could be useful beyond just 3D protein structure prediction. It can Perhaps we can also use it for drug target interactions. Um, so these hidden learned features also include one, two, and 3D um, dimensional layers, which include distance between those letters, orientation of the protein, as well as the sequence alignment with other proteins as well. So the proposed method is um, using existing models. So these are the existing features that, be, that are being used that I showed, the drug features and the protein features, as well as um, 3D protein structure prediction features as shown in the top right. And what I'm showing in the bottom is uh, I will be constructing a deep learning network that would be able to use all three of these features um, in order to improve drug target interactions. And again, the idea is to use this in the context of medulloblastomas where there are 
um, predicted protein drivers and whether we can actually identify um, drugs for repurposing from the adult setting to the pediatric setting. So I'd like to thank um, the Cohen lab so far, um, everyone in the lab, as well as the Baker lab that's involved in developing that prediction model and the National Library of Medicine for my funding. Thank you.